have to adjust this. I'm usually used to adjusting mics when I, I come to the, the table. Uh, I want to thank Milton for that wonderful introduction, and uh, I want to thank all of you. This is my first National Book Festival, uh, first as an author or as a participant. We couldn't do it without all of you. Thank you very much. Now, what I, what I thought I'd do, because I'm on a short time frame here, and I got my timer here watching me, I thought I'd tell you a little bit about a game of character and how, why and how I wrote it, tell you a couple of my favorite stories in there, uh, and then open it up for you guys to ask some questions. But before I start, I know Milton told you to turn your cell phones off. That is, unless there's somebody who's expecting a call from a seven-footer, let that call come through. <laughs> Please. We can, we, can, we can use all the help we can get. The inspiration for a game of character, and I, and I, have, to, I have to start out by saying how humbled I am to be included with so many wonderful authors because I still view myself as just a basketball coach. I mean, I, it's, it's, it's hard. But, you know, one of my friends from Chicago called up and said, hey, I saw a book in Borders that had your picture on it. What's going on? <laughs> and I had to confess, yeah, I wrote a book. He's like, get out of here. You didn't write a book. <laughs> so it's really hard for me to realize that I wrote a book. But the, the inspiration comes solely from my parents and my family. Uh, that was the first inspiration, and I want to tell you, share with you a little a, a, a story. My father, Frazier Robinson, and this is before all of this happened to our family, was just a hard-working man from the water working at the water department in the city of Chicago, raising a couple of kids. My mom was a homemaker, and all they were trying to do is provide a good life for us good lessons, good principles, good values. And my father happened to be the keeper of the family folklore. So you guys know what that's like when you have somebody in your family who at all of the events tells all the stories, gives all the advice, cracks all the jokes. Well, that was my dad. And in doing that, he always imparted some lesson or some story or some adventure that you could take away some positive things to. And quite honestly, when I was younger, my sister and I would always say, Dad, don't tell that story again. We've all heard it. We know the punchline. Now jump ahead to about 19 years ago. That's when my dad died, early, mid-50s. And at that time, I thought to myself, you know, somebody has to chronicle the stories that he told, the lessons, the adventures. And I said, yeah, maybe I'll do that someday. Now jump ahead to two summers ago when I'm standing backstage at the Democratic National Convention, getting ready to introduce my sister. I'm backstage listening to the introduction, and I'm thinking to myself, what the heck am I doing here? <laughs> but I also thought, boy, wouldn't it be nice if my dad was here to experience this with us? And it was at that point that I knew that I had to actually take a pencil and put it on paper and start writing. Even if I didn't succeed, I had to do it or it wouldn't get done. You know how life comes at you. And what came out of that was a game of character, which is basically a tribute, a love story to my parents, whose lessons resonate in the classroom, on the basketball court, at the dinner table, or in the boardroom. And what I tried to do was write it so that it was fun to read for everyone and that everybody could take something from it. And uh, there were only three people I needed to impress. My wife, my mother, and my sister. And after they read it and enjoyed it, I knew that I had something. 
Now there are a couple of stories that I that that I there there are plenty of stories in there, but a couple of the ones that really 